Providers look to foreign-born caregivers to ease the long-term care staffing shortages, home health care charges rising faster than nursing homes, and providers campaign to get CMS to ditch the ICON plans. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, October 23rd, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Long-term care providers are hoping several policy recommendations will ease caregiver shortages. Leading Age announced last Tuesday a set of proposals aimed at increasing the number of foreign-born aging services workers in the United States. The IMAGINE, an acronym for International Migration of Aging and Geriatric Workers in Response to the Needs of Elders initiative, is aimed at members of Congress and includes seven policy recommendations, which include expanding the AEB-3 visa program to allow more foreign born direct care workers to enter the United States. Earlier this year, Leading Age supported a bill that would nearly double the number of employment visas granted annually and ensure access to health care workers. The organization has also previously proposed the idea of foreign-born workers as a solution to long-term care staffing shortages. Recommendations also call for enacting an H-2 age temporary guest worker program for certified nursing and home care aides, modifying the EB-3 visa to increase the number of visas available specifically to address long-term care services and support needs and modifying the R1 visa program to provide religious visas to temporary workers and faith-based organizations. The nation will need 2.5 million additional caregivers working in long-term care services and support by 2030 in order to keep pace with the growing needs of a rapidly aging population, according to Leading Age. Charges for home health care services have increased by more than 7% over the past year, nearly four times as fast as the rise for nursing homes, according to a new survey. The findings were detailed in Genworth's 2019 cost of care survey, which revealed that the annual median cost for homemaker services reached an increase of 7.1% between 2018 and 2019. For home health aides, the annual median cost increased nearly 4.6%. Charges for nursing home care, however, increased by just 0.96% for semi-private room and 1.82% for a private room. Charges for assisted living have also stabilized over the past year. Experts believe costs of home care, though still around just half the cost of nursing homes, are rising due to everybody's tightening labor market, compliance for new local, state, and federal certifications and regulations, and shifts in post-acute Medicare reimbursement, according to a release. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. The second largest nursing home association in the United States is urging the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to not implement plans to place a consumer alert icon next to facilities that have received certain abuse citations on the Nursing Home Compare website. Leading Age sent a letter with the request to Administrator Seema Verma on Monday. The organization also called on members to contact the federal agency and express their opposition to the icon. A variety of American Healthcare Association leaders also called on CMS to reconsider the icon symbol earlier last week. The icon, which features an open palm in a red circle, doesn't distinguish between nursing homes that correct and report abusive incidents and those that don't, the organization stated. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.